The burnt out shell of what was once a public service vehicle. The state of the wreckage, a clear indication of the intensity of the impact of the head on collision with a trailer faring wheat from Mombasa to Nairobi. Barabara ilikuwa na mist. Ungeona mbele saidi. So wakati alikalkulate alikalkulate vibaya ndio ikakuja ikagongana na hiyo trailer. Halafu zote zikapata moto basi imechomeka mnaona na trailer kichwa yake imechomeka yote. Smoke still emanating from the death trap that claimed the lives of nine people with ten others still unaccounted for. Kuna wengine wale walikuwa trapped wamechomeka kabisa atujui na hii basi pia unajua ilikuwa na vitu za abiria. So hatujui kama zingine ni mwili kwa sababu kila kitu imechomeka hapo kwa hiyo ndani ya hiyo basi. Sifting through the debris was a painstaking process trying to make out what could be human parts. Among the passengers is said to have been a teacher and pupils of Bond Free Academy in Gedurai 44 who were on their way to Mombasa for a school trip as evidenced by some of the charred stationery. A scene that also became a looter's paradise. 20 of those who were injured were rushed to Kilome nursing home. Hawa isirini waine walikuwa hali ya mututi. Though injured and yet thankful to be alive, survivors recounted their near brush with death. Naamini ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa ndani hiyo ngari kwa sababu kama sio maombi hata mimi mwenyewe singekuwa. Kuamka niliona moto mingi ikitokea mbele ya hapo driver alikuweko. Mimi kwa sababu gari haikuwa na na vio nikasikia watu wakipiga nduru. Nikaona watu wakirukia kwa ndrisa. Disturbing as it were, Odere has cautioned motorists to be careful on the road, especially when driving at night. According to Odere, the bodies that were burnt beyond recognition will be taken to Chiromo Mortuary in Nairobi for DNA analysis. Meanwhile, officials of the Kenya Red Cross have set up a help desk at Kilome Nursing Home to assist in the tracing of loved ones. Joy Kiruki Juma. K24.